Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'll be showing you how to spray paint an espresso machine white, specifically spray painting any plastic panels that you may have on your espresso machine. So back in March when quarantine began and all the coffee shops started shutting down, Chris and I decided that we wanted to buy an espresso machine. We ended up coming home with the Luca A53 mini. Um, so it's big, it's got black plastic side panels, and I wanted them to be white. My inspiration is one of my friends that I follow on Instagram. I don't think I'm going to share her name, but this is her espresso machine that she got from Clive. It's the same espresso machine as our Luca A53 Mini, but she got the special edition one, so the chrome and the side panels are all white, and it just looks really beautiful and crisp and clean in her kitchen. I did a lot of research on how to paint plastic. Obviously, I was really nervous because this machine is really expensive. I couldn't find anyone else crazy enough to do this, so um, I guinea pigged myself, and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna walk you guys through this if you are wanting to spray paint your Luca maybe if you like the look of the white. Just follow along and yeah let's get started. My materials were Crud Cutter Pre-Paint Cleaner, um, Rust-Oleum Universal Bonding Primer in white, Krylon Satin White Paint, Heavy Duty Scotch Bright Pads, and I got Steel Wool but I actually don't recommend using that because it makes a mess. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to prep the surface with crud cutter. You want to spray it, wipe it all around with a rag, and then leave it to dry. This was to remove any coating that is on the plastic, which if it's plastic it will probably have coating on it. Um, people use this stuff when they repaint their kitchen cabinets, so um, it cleans off grease and also removes the coating on the cabinets so that people can repaint them and have the paint stick to them. It's kind of like liquid sander from what I've read. As you can see, I'm just going around the corners um, of the plastic. The whole reason why painting plastic is so hard and doesn't always turn out is because the surface of the plastic is so smooth that paint can't stick to it. So the reason why we are using this liquid sander and then following it up with more sanding, as you're seeing right now, is to remove the coating and create a gritty surface on the plastic that paint can stick to. So step two is you wanna sand the surface. I'm using fine scotch bright pads and they worked just fine. I also got steel wool, but it was really messy. Um, I prefer the scotch bright pads because it's easier to wipe down the surface and clean it afterwards. The steel wool leaves a lot of fur everywhere and it'll start to get in your paint job once you start spraying if you don't totally clean the surface that you're spraying on you'll end up seeing little hairs all in your spray paint. So you can get a tack cloth and that'll actually pick up any of the dust on your project. Um, I just used a paper towel that was a little damp and it works just fine. After I cleaned everything up, I started spraying the primer. I got mansplained at Lowe's about how spray paint has primer built into it now, but I didn't care. I really wanted to get a primer separate from the spray paint that I was gonna use and I'm really happy that I did. Um, I went overboard with the primer, but it was white, and I was basically trying to cover up this entire black surface. Um, I spray painted the whole thing, covered the whole thing like I probably would have just done with paint, but um, the primer was helpful because it further textures your surface so that your paint can adhere to it better. Um, this stuff dries super fast, like in 10 minutes, so after you've sprayed it and it's done drying, you can sand it like I'm showing right now. Sanding will make sure that your texture is very smooth, that any imperfections or bumps from your primer are smoothed out. It was too dark to film in my garage by the time I did this step, but um, eventually I painted my side panels with the satin white Krylon paint that I showed you guys earlier. Make sure you don't apply the paint too heavily because it'll start to bubble and run. So I just let it dry like 10 to 15 minutes between each step. I sprayed it, let it dry, I sprayed it, let it dry. There's a slight sheen to it. The glossier paint you go, the more those bumps and imperfections are going to show up um, in your project. So definitely make sure the surface is as smooth as you want it to be before you move into spray painting. Because this is an appliance that gets a ton of use, you're going to want to use an enamel coating to spray the whole surface. This will protect it from any dings and smudges or discoloration. The um, enamel coating that I used is a satin protective en enamel. It actually is a white um, one because I read some reviews that the clear satin enamel um, can discolor and get like a yellow tint to it. I really didn't want that to happen. I let this dry for a full day before I even touched the, the side panels. And this was after my paint was totally dry. Definitely would recommend spraying a clear coat or a you know white protective enamel over whatever you're painting just to make sure that it's not going to get dinged and scratched in the kitchen. 
So, um, yeah, and then once the enamel was dry, I replaced our espresso panels and it turned out great. We've been using it for a week and I know you're excited to see the finished results, so here's how it turned out. There you have it guys, that is our espresso machine tutorial. I hope this was clear. Sorry I couldn't get all the footage that I wanted to get. If you have any questions about how I did this or if I wasn't clear about something, feel free to ask me a question below. You can also follow me on Instagram to see, you know, photos of our espresso machine if you're into that kind of thing. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Oh my gosh, it's like kid proof. <laughs>